Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll create a barcode generation API using Flask and Python and call it from a demo web page using Fetch Web API to generate real-time barcodes. So this is the barcode library that we're going to use. Okay, what we need to do first is install the required dependencies. So right in the terminal you're going to type pip install flask flask underscore cores python dash bar code and pillow and hit enter okay once the dependencies are installed then you are good to go so what we're gonna do is import uh, the needed packages so from flask import flask request send underscore file and from flask underscore cores import cores and then from barcode import generate and from barcode writer import image writer and finally from io import bytes io Okay, now we'll create our Flask instance, and since this is an API, we need to make sure it's accessible from any origin to avoid cores errors. So our app is going to be equal to Flask of underscore underscore name underscore underscore, and then cores of app. Okay, what we need to do next is define our barcode generation route, which would only accept the post requests. So at app the route, then we give it our route, which is going to be slash generate underscore barcode, and then the methods, which is going to be equal to post. Okay, let's now create our handler method. So def generate underscore barcode. Okay, so first of all, we're going to read the data attribute that we're going to send to the um, API in order to generate the barcode. So data is going to be equal to data since we're going to send it as a form attribute and value. Then we're going to create our buffer. So buffer is equal to bytes IO. And then we're going to call the generate method. So generate, which takes the first argument, which is the, uh, the barcode type. So we're going to use code 128. And then it takes um, the data that is going to be used um, or the value that represents the barcode. And then it takes the writer. So I'm going to type writer equal to image writer. And then output is going to be equal to the buffer. Okay, so what we need to do next is actually seek to the first position in the buffer. So buffer seek zero, and then prepare our response. So the response is going to be equal to send underscore file, which is going to take the buffer, and the mime type is going to be equal to image slash p in g. And then we're going to return this response back to the user. Okay, finally, we need to start our Flask app instance. So what I'm going to do is type if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Then what we're going to do is start the app. So app dot run. Okay, so now we're done with our um, barcode generation API implementation. We will now create a simple demo HTML page that has an input text field that carries the barcode value and an image tag that will be used to hold the generated barcode by our API. So moving on to the HTML file right here, what we're going to do is type HTML tag and then the hit tag. I'm going to type a title tag barcode. Uh, generator tutorial right and then in the body I'm just creating a heading so h2 barcode generator tutorial and then we're gonna have a dev 
that's going to hold a label, which is the text label. And then we're going to have an input field. So input name is going to be equal to barcode and the type is equal to text. Okay. And then I'm going to create an image tag right here. The ID of this tag is going to be barcode because we're going to use it to set it with the um, generated barcode from our API. Okay. Um, what we need to do next is actually create if function that is going to call our API. So right in the head section, right below the title, I'm going to create a script tag right here and create a function that's called generate barcode, which is going to take a value. And then we need to create a for data object and append the data attribute value to it. So let for data equal to new for data and then for data dot uh, append. So when I append the attribute data with values equal to value, right? Okay. Uh, right now we're going to fetch, um, we're going to call the fetch method in order to call uh, or make our call to the web service or our API. So fetch HTTP colon slash slash localhost since we're running our server at localhost and then colon 5000 since the default port for the Flask server is 5000 and then slash our route which is generate underscore barcode and the second argument is the options. So we are uh, sending post requests so the method is going to be set to post and then the body is going to be the for data. Okay, since this fetch API returns a promise, then what we need to do is type dot then and then I'm going to define an error function that's going to take the result as argument. And then we want to process this result in order to get the generated image. So what we need to do is type res dot body dot get reader dot read. And simply this read method is going to return a promise and it's going to read all the bytes of our body. So what we need to do is type the then and then define another error function that's going to take the image, right? And then what we need to do is create the image byte array first. So let image byte array, which is equal to image value. And then we're going to get the string value of this byte array. So let string value equals to string dot from char code. And then we're going to distribute the values of the image byte array over this uh, method right here. What we need to do next is get the base64 encoded string of this string value. So let encoded value be equal to BTOA, oops, BTOA of string value. Okay, so now we have the encoded value, which is actually the base64 representation of our image. What we need to do is select this barcode image tag right here and set the source to our uh, base64 encoded image. So document dot uh, get element by ID and then we give it the barcode. The source is equal to, I'm going to use string formatting here. So data colon image slash PNG and then a semicolon and then base 64 and then a comma and then our encoded um, value. So I'm going to type here dollar sign and between two curly braces we're going to type encoded value. Okay, the last thing to do is actually call this generate barcode method. Uh, so um, we're going to add an on change attribute on this input field right here so that whenever we change the value in this input field, we're going to call this generate barcode to gen to uh, uh, update the barcode image right here. So in this input field, I'm going to type on change equals to generate 
barcode and we're going to call the method sending to it the current value in this input field. So we're going to type this dot value. OK, so guess what? That's it. What we need to do now is run our uh, server and then just test it out. So what I'm going to do is type here Python dash M main. Oops, Python dash M and then the file name, which is barcode barcode underscore generator underscore API and hit enter. And here we go. Our server is running at localhost port 5000. And then I'm going to just open this file in Google Chrome. So Google dash Chrome barcode generator tutorial HTML hit enter. And here we go. So let's now generate a barcode for um, Basil tick one, two, three. And here we go. This is the generated barcode of Basil tech one, two, three. Let's just uh, change it a little bit, remove this. And it's updated as you can see right here. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial and see you in the next one.